All right, hey guys. So uh, a buddy had asked me this question a couple days ago, and I sent him a video uh, specifically with uh, these in an AVS. Uh, but the question seems to come up enough that I think it's worth uh, exploring a little bit. All right, so the question is uh, sappy cut versus swimmer cut, and what is going to fit in any particular vest. All right, so uh, I understand it comes up. People buy plates, they buy vests secondhand. Sometimes uh, the vest isn't offered in the cut that you have, uh, and people want to know kind of cross compatibility. All right, so generally speaking, a large swimmer cut and a medium sappy are interchangeable. All right, I'm not saying that across the board because some vests are weird, uh, but that's generally the rule of thumb. So uh, the most common swimmer cut plate that I think people are looking at these days is going to be the Hesco L210, all right, which comes in a large and small as far as I know. Uh, the small is just stupid small. Uh, good luck finding anything that fits that and not looking straight ridiculous if you have it. All right, and then uh, for my medium sappy here, I apologize, this is a terrible example of a medium sappy. This is the P210. Uh, it is sappy cut, but it's only rated for pistol rounds, uh, so it's tiny. I mean, this is like sticking a clipboard in your vest. They're actually really crazy. Uh, I, I highly encourage you to check them out. Uh, they're pretty neat. All right, so uh, we'll look at kind of what, what those fit. All right, so uh, for starters, we'll throw a, uh, an AVS up on the table. All right, so I happen to have a small AVS here. All right, so this, this medium P210 happens to fit because it's so thick. All right, that, that shouldn't happen. All right, what should fit in there is a small uh, sappy cut. And you can see that's that's a very snug fit in there. All right, very little overhang on the bottom. Uh, sm so small sappy uh, AVS. The large uh, L210 will fit. It's a little snug on the sides, uh, but it fully seats, and you can see uh, that that flap is going to have no issue closing. All right, so a large. Uh, L210 will fit small sappy cut uh, rigs and the AVS is one of the least forgiving ones out there in my opinion uh, so the fact that that fits should make me fairly confident that it'll fit any small sappy cut all right and again you can see it's a little snug uh, but not too bad all right so uh, large L210 in a small sappy cut Let's see how the uh, the reverse plays. All right, so one of the few swimmer cut rigs that I own is this uh, pig rig. All right, and it will take these large L210s. All right, this one had some modifications done to it, uh, so it lost a little bit of the plate pocket. Uh, so I actually had to have it modified to give me a little bit longer flap there. Uh, so this isn't the best example, but I really don't own a whole lot of sap of uh, swimmer cut stuff. So keep in mind something that will fit a large swimmer cut. This small sappy uh, hangs out the bottom. All right, so it is not the most cross compatible. Uh, concept out there, all right? Uh, but it, it fits, kind of, all right? I wish I had a better uh, swimmer cut so that potentially it sat further into the top. Uh, but the issue that you run into with these is the angles at the top of the plate, all right? So swimmer cut rigs are much narrower. You can see the top of the plate is about the same size, uh, but there's so much shoulder on the sappy compared to the swimmer cut that it bottoms out quicker. All right, so showing you how that fits in there again, it's not in these corners here. All right, uh, so that, that, that's where the issue comes into with that cross compatibility. 
and then we can really throw a wrench in the plan and look at civilian cut plates. All right, so this is a 10 by 12, which should be a medium sappy, uh, but it's not. All right, it's got a different shape. Plus this is a single curve, which doesn't help anything at all. Uh, but you can see this is not, not gonna fit in there well at all. Like it bottoms out right there because those shoulders are so much broader. All right, so really the big takeaway here is buy the plate that fits your vest and don't try to make something else work. Uh, but if you do have to do that, pick something that has a little bit more forgiving of a plate pocket. So like the, the JPC uh, 2, how it's got the stretch panels. We can try sticking our stormer plate in here. This is a medium 2.0. The stretch will make it fight you a little bit more getting in there, uh, but you can see it'll it'll get in there to the point that the flap will close. Now let's try our medium civilian sappy cut. Let's see if this gives us any grief. All right, so you can see how the medium civilian cut will fit in there thanks to the stretch panels whereas it wouldn't in that pig brig uh, because it's it's all solid cordura all right so uh, if you're if you're playing with fire and getting the wrong plates for your vest get some sort of stretchy vest don't get straight cordura but please try to actually just get the uh, the plate that you need and then the last thing that I, I am guilty of this as well is plate thickness makes a difference. All right, as I struggle to get this back out of here. So we've got our medium uh, P210 here, and I had to stop filming and confirm this because it was throwing me off. Small AVS, medium sappy. fits in there without any issues because it's so thin. All right, so, you know, stretchy stretchy panels on your rig and thinner plates can also give you more leeway. All right, so all things to keep in mind, I'm sorry if that was a little disjointed, uh, but there's a lot of options out there and I am by no means the expert. All right, so uh, think about what you're doing first. Don't call Cry and ask them what plates are gonna fit in their vest. They've got better things to do, like make vests. Uh, do a little bit of research and, and buy the appropriately sized things. All right, thanks, guys.